Ms Zoe Ford with that report. One Nation leader Pauline Hanson is continuing her tour of regional Queensland and she's adding to her list of demands should One Nation hold the balance of power after the Queensland election. Senator Hanson has already announced a series of deal breakers that she says either major party must honour if One Nation is to help them form government. Alison Horne is travelling with One Nation. One Nation leader Pauline Hanson is here in Yapoon where she's demanded a casino be built in central Queensland in exchange for her party's support in balance of power negotiations. Now the casino would include 30 tables to be built on the luxury Great Keppel Island which is off the coast of Rockhampton. Senator Hanson says a business case for the casino and resort project has been knocked back by the major parties and she's given a warning that this will be a project that will be a deal breaker if Labor or the LNP need One Nation support to form government. If you're going to bring tourists from overseas, they need to go to a resort, they need to have a bit of a gaming table and they will pay it. It's not going to impact on the locals because locals aren't going to get on a boat and go over there to play at the tables. The Queensland government has approved a new casino in Cairns and another licence is available for the Gold Coast. Senator Hanson says those projects should be scrapped and the licence transferred to Great Keppel Island. But she has ruled out any plans to allow any more casinos across the state.